Hello, my name is Do Eun Kim, a PhD of ceramic engineering and second generation of Korean master hand of ceramic, Sechang Se Yung Kim. Generally, pottery is made of clay and then burned at a high temperature. Pottery is generally divided according to clay, glaze, and temperature. Pottery clay generally uses something that is easy to deforming along with water. This clay contains a lot of materials that can remain in shape even at a high temperature. The color of clay is determined by the various components of the clay. For example, a clay which has a high iron content turns red or black depends on the temperature when fired. If the iron content is less than 1 to 2 percent, it becomes white clay. The history of pottery began thousands of years ago and is intertwined with the history of mankind. Humans have made tools that are needed for life from materials that are easily available. And pottery made from easily available clay is the origin of today's pottery. The history of Korean pottery begins in the Neolithic age with earthenware. As we move closer to our time, Korean pottery production can be divided into different periods, starting from earthenware from Shila dynasty, Celadon from the Goryeo dynasty, Puncheong from the late Goryeo dynasty to the early Joseon dynasty, and white porcelain from the Joseon dynasty. Korean pottery has a similar trend to Chinese pottery history. However, Korean pottery is slightly different in design, color, and method of production from Chinese pottery. This is because the materials and techniques of pottery vary depending on where they are made and who made the vessels. Kim Se-young, Korean master hand of ceramic, made a 21st century celadon after 50 years of trial and error to recreate Goryeo celadon. He recreated the beautiful color of Goryeo celadon by developing new clay and clays. In addition, a double openwork technique was developed to create a new Goryeo celadon as a, a groundbreaking technique like the inlaid technique of the Goryeo dynasty. He developed a new style and design by combining the traditional patterns of Goryeo celadon with traditional paintings such as folk painting and literary painting. In recognition of his contribution, he became a Korean master hand of the ceramic, awarded by Korean government in 2002. The goal of his work was to make the most elaborate, largest, and most beautiful celadon. His 50 years journey is still ongoing. Goryeo Celadon is a blue-green porcelain fired at high temperatures. It was created by Koreans' indomitable will to adapt to poor conditions. Goryeo Celadon was born 1,000 years ago, a great scientific discovery between 900 and 1300 AEC, which exceeded the limits of materials. The soil for making pottery is generally found in old areas of the Earth's surface, where it has been aged for a long time. But the clay of Koryo Celadon was not made of this type of clay, which was good for manufacturing vessels. Instead, it was created by combining various clay in a suitable proportion to make pottery. As a simple example, China has a huge land mass and a wide plain area, so it has a lot of good clay. On the other hand, Korean land does not have large plains, and mountains and valleys are rough. Instead, Goryeo Celadon clay was made by mixing naturally finely ground clay from the top of the mountain with the many weathering effects. This was the wisdom of our ancestors in finding the best raw materials in the harsh and barren environment. 
내가 만든 도자기를 정성스럽게 귀하게 다루지, 다루어 주어야 다른 사람들이 볼 때도 야 저게 대단히 귀중한가 보다 그렇게 다루어 주는 거죠. Throughout history, Koreans have an ability to embrace small things and develop into something special, and Koryo Celadon is just one example. Korean potters have been taught techniques by Celadon potters who have been evacuated from China. However, Korean potters created their own unique Celadon ceramics, which some would say is much better and better developed than Chinese Celadon. This is because of their own unique colors and inlaid techniques. Colors and depths that can be made anywhere else in the world. This unique color is due to the geographical characteristics and climate of the Korean Peninsula. The artwork that reflects the spirit of the era was created with designs and patterns based on the Oriental philosophy that pursued the spiritual world. If white porcelain means elegance, Celadon is an icon of perseverance and passion. Koryo Celadon features traditional patterns such as crane, cloud, lotus flower on pottery. 내가 하지 않으면 어, 이런 작품은 세상에 태어나지 않을 것 같은 그런 어떤 착각, 고집, 아집 이런 것들이었을 거예요. 그렇기 때문에 그 수없이 많은 그 시행착오를 거치면서도 어떤 거는 열번 해서 안 돼가지고 열한 번째 가서 된 것들도 있어요. 시간으로 따지면 한 10년 걸려서 만든 것들도 있고 그런 걸 누가 또 하겠어요? 나 같은 바보 아니면은 또할 사람이 없을 것 같아 내가 볼 때. 그래서 어, 많은 사람들이 바보라는 얘기도 했고 또나 자신도 어떤 때 가끔 내가 바보 같은 생각이 들어요. 근데 내 자식한테도 바보가 되라고 자꾸 얘기하기는 좀 어려울 것 같아서. 바보. 평생을 한 곳만 바라본 바보. 쉽고 편한 방법을 마다한 채먼 길로 돌아가기를 고집하는 바보. 그러나 그래서 이토록 아름답고 신비로운 비색의 청자를 내 손으로 만들어낼 수 있다면 고려 청자의 담긴 혼을 이 시대에 다시 환생시킬 수 있다면 바보라 불린들 어떠랴. 나 또한 그와 같은 진정한 바보의 길을 마다한고 아버지의 손을 잡을 것이다. This is Don Kim. It would be great if you watch this video today and get a better understanding of Korean ceramic culture.